previously on Beanie Boo Survivor. Because as of now, you are all merged. I know that the other girls are going to band against me since I'm not with them. It's just not a risk worth taking. Whatever, I hope you guys all get bit by bugs in your sleep. Coming up on Beanie Boo Survivor. I will destroy this alliance from the inside out, and I will expose Cobalt for her lies. Don't worry, chica. I'll make sure Sissy doesn't win. But isn't that cheating? This is Beanie Boo Survivor Reloaded. I'm telling you, an all-girls alliance would dominate this game. But what if the others find out? Uh, they're too busy being angry at me. <laughs> Great work. If they can't get over you saving our butts, then they'll never see us coming. You see, I'm trying to form an all-girls alliance that will have the numbers for the rest of the game. So that way, in case of any of them either become the target or try to target me, I can just pick them off like dirt under my dress. But as an alliance, who would we target? Whoever is physically the strongest. You know, weaker opponents we can easier win, chica. But what about Sissy and Tari? We're sort of leaving them out. They have never wanted to work with us, Tasha. If they find out, they'll spill the beans to everyone. I'm gonna be quiet and say what I need to in secrecy. I know that Cobalt's been spying on people in their confessionals because of the reunion. I will destroy this alliance from the inside out, and I will expose Cobalt for her lies. Um, what's going on here? What do you mean? Y'all are huddled up like a litter of puppies left in a box on the side of the road. What's the convo about? <laughs> no need to be harsh, Chismosa. We were just thinking at least we're saving us all. Yo, it was nice, but all of the boys hate her for it. So, good luck with that. With all the boys being fueled by anger, this is a great opportunity for me to finally get all the numbers needed to finally eliminate Cobalt. Dude, we are so lucky to have survived last ceremony. Seriously, I don't know what I would have done if either of us were booted. Honestly, you're like my best friend in this game. We need to get to the final two together. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Considering that I literally won yesterday's challenge but still lost immunity, I've got a bone to pick with Little Miss Beanie Boo Survivor Nerd. And surprisingly, so does Noodles. Well, at least they're angry at Atlas, not me. If push comes to shove, I will give Atlas the boot if I need to. I don't like her anyways, and Lola hates her. Well, I'm not sure why, but it gives you a reason to be worried. Now that Rory's gone, I'm thinking that we should work together. Oh, sick, man. All you'd have to do is just send in an application to the grocery store I work at. What? Not that type of work, dimwit. Besides, I probably stole it from the store at some point. Harsh. Who should we eliminate then? I don't trust that Atlas girl. After what she did to us last episode? Seriously not cool. Say, if you had the choice to revoke immunity instead of her, would you do it? No, because it would make me feel very guilty inside. Why? It's Survivor. You have to make the necessary moves to win. But it's wrong. This pile of beef known as Higo is probably going to be somewhat useful. He's not the brightest, so it'll be pretty easy for me to get him to do what I want. <sighs> Bingo. Welcome, contenders, to the very first ever Beanie Boo Survivor Cooking Challenge. Cooking challenge? All I know how to make is prison food. <laughs> yes! I can rock the stove, girl! You can cook? Of course I do. I love cooking. I'm really good at grilling burgers. She's really good at eating them, too. What? Oh, I love my insults. Insults aside, you will all have a chance to grab various ingredients to make any sort of meal. Doesn't matter if it's an entree, dessert, all of that. It just has to be edible. Owen and I will be your taste testers. Just don't poison us. Dang it. If any of your meals make me vomit, we're going to have a little chat. Uh, now I'm just scared for my life. You will have one hour to create your amazing meal. The winners of this challenge will receive immunity as well as a special food reward. And for those who don't win, one of you will be voted off tonight. 
sissy did not come to play. The whole reason I entered this stupid competition was so that way I could use a million dollars to get myself to culinary school. I am gonna rock this thing. Since there's 11 of you, we're gonna split you up into three trios and one pair. Do we get to pick our partners? No. But since Muddles won immunity in the last challenge just to get it revoked by Little Miss Atlas over here... Uh, hey! Then he will get to pick his partner as compensation for last week's challenge, and also so that way he can't file a lawsuit against me. You're welcome, producers. <gasps> yes! This is great. Being able to work with people who I actually enjoy being around will make it so much easier for me. Think about it hard, Muddles. Who here do you think could cook you up a storm? Um... He's gonna pick me. I pick noodles! Uh, huh? Back in Kauai, I worked as a cook for the local tourist stands. I can make some pretty good kebabs. You're always my number one pick. Aw, <laughs> thanks. As for the rest of you, you're going to be split up into three trios. Ugh, can't wait for this one. Trio number one is Hugo. Atlas and Cobalt. All right, go team. Uh, that's the spirit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I get paired with the girl who I manipulated and the boy who I backdoored. Ugh, this is so not going to end well. I'm sure we'll do great, guys. Trio number two is Lola, Sissy, and Baxter. Ugh, whatever. Don't worry, chica. I'll make sure Sissy doesn't win. I know I can count on you. We got this, guys. Let's say hello to immunity. And if we lose, you'll be saying hello to my fist. Sissy and Lola both are absolutely out of line. Well, at least Sissy actually knows what she's doing, though. And that leaves trio number three as Austin, Tari, and Tasha. Yes, the normal people. That's a good thing? <laughs> yeah, go team. Now that Alouette and Holly have no shot of coming back, I really need to start focusing on my strategizing. If I can get someone in here on my side, then hopefully I can escape by elimination. Campers, these are your workstations. There's one station for each group. Some ingredients will be provided, but you may need to go inside our production building's pantry and raid it for more ingredients if necessary. Cooks, your timer begins in three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! It's time to win this thing! Go, 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 go! We got this, Muddles. Yeah, we do. We only have one hour. What are we going to make? Let's just keep it simple. We should just make some waffles or something. Good idea. Hugo, go in and find us some baking powder or something. Aye, aye, Captain. Co no! Oh, okay, I'm going! My stellar team is making these awesome waffles, and I am so ready to eat this victory up. I'm thinking we cook up some deluxe hot dogs for crunching Owen to eat. There is no way that wouldn't win. Reasonable enough. This booth has already got some condiments ready for us. Okay, I can go prepare the hot dogs. I'll try and find buns. Well, you better be quick then, Lola. Baxter and I will set up the booth. Oh, don't worry, Chica. I got it. We cannot let Sissy win this challenge, bro. If she does, she's gonna coerce everyone else into voting against us. So, I'm gonna make her lose. Lola style! Do either of you cook, like, at all? I specialize in art, not cooking. And I'm a musician. I don't have time to cook. What about you, Tasha? Well, my parents only ever let me study. They said that if I was in the kitchen, I'd be nothing more than a trophy to a loser of a man. Well, 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 none of us cook. What are we going to make? Well, our booth has bread and cheese. Ugh, so helpful. Bread and cheese. <gasps> I've got it! Let's make a grilled cheese! I'm sorry? Yeah, my parents let me make a grilled cheese once when I was 12 because I got a perfect score on my science test, so that was my reward. A grilled cheese was your reward? Such a good reward, right? I mean, usually I never got anything at all except for the time I got a set of encyclopedias. Encyclopedias? Wow, so cool! She has no life. Well, not even in like an insult type of way. It's just, she actually has no life. It's kind of sad. If we're going to make a grilled cheese, we need to get butter spray. I could go get it though. Good work, Tasha. Okay, off I go. Are you concerned too? Yeah, just a little. Should we bake? I mean, I always used to bake with my parents when I was little. I mean, I'm down, but what can you bake? I was always good at baking cookies. It's been a few years, but I'm sure I'll remember how. Well, our booth came with a bag of sugar. That's a good start. But we need cookie dough, though. I mean, I can head to the kitchen and see if we have any. 
How about we both go? I mean, two sets of eyes are better than one. Good idea. Let's go. I think I forgot to mention that the ingredients are going to be pretty sparse. This is going to be brutal. Look, there's a batch of cookie dough amongst the other ingredients. Dude, everyone is eyeing the same pile of ingredients. Don't even think about touching any of this stuff, locos. We have to. Como que we need to? We need the ingredients just as much as you do. So do we. And us too. Noodles on three, we charge. One, two, three! Hey, stop that! I need my butter! Oh, no you don't. I Ow! <laughs> no, you don't. What on earth is taking Hugo so long just to grab a few ingredients? <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. Or we could get our ingredients elsewhere. Is stealing ingredients from another team morally wrong? Yes. Am I still going to do it regardless? Baby, of course I am. I hope they weren't going to be needing that. I know, right? Now let's make some waffles. Okay, that netty chick is taking too long to grab a few hot dog buns. Everyone is taking forever though. Don't you think they're probably dealing with something? So what? I'm gonna go check up on her. You stay here. She better not have gotten into anything. What in the New Hampshire is going on in here? It's mine, I tell you. Mine. Back off. Shoo. Hugo, don't make this any more difficult than it needs to be. That's too many words for me to process. Where on earth is Lola? Okay, time for me to bring the heat. Wait, Lola, no. What? Ah! Lola, what are you doing? Uh, the, preparing the buns. You don't microwave them. You just uh, get them ready. I know, but that's what the packaging said. The packaging says to lightly warm them for two minutes. You put them in the microwave for 20! What well, order they don't come after me? Oh my god, Lola, I'm gonna kill you. What? Lola, how did you even do this? Orderly, he had la Santa Maria. I tried my best. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so sorry. This girl is so stupid. She just wasted all of her hot dog buns. So, where are the hot dog buns? Did you just get a little hunger on the way back down? She microwaved the buns and ruined them! I'm not a cook! How was I supposed to know? Oh, baby, I knew. But you see, a girl like me keeps her word and I promised Cobalt that I make Sissy lose, so it's whatever. Fine, whatever. Well, I saw some flour tortillas and shredded cheese while I was up in there, so we'll just make some quesadillas, I don't know. Oh, okay then, well, I can go get the flour tortillas. Stay! Baxter, you go. Okay, fine, whatever. So, the hot dogs were a bust. It don't matter though, cause Sissy always rises to the occasion. Ugh, ugh. Okay, we've got our cookie dough. Now, if we just add that and the sugar, we can start- Our sugar is gone! Wait, what? Look at Crunch and Owen over there, giggling like little kids. I bet they did it. Ugh, we shouldn't have abandoned our post. How about you go and grab more sugar while I start prepping the cookies? Sick. Wish me luck as I re-enter the battle zone. <laughs> Don't be stupid. <sighs> All right, I'm back. I got, I got the, the batter, whatever this stuff is. Oh, well, we got sugar too? We're on a roll. I thought we didn't have any sugar. Yeah, we didn't have sugar, but now we do. Where did we get it from? Oh, we stole it from Muddles and Noodles while they were gone. Smart move, right? But isn't that cheating? <laughs> it's not cheating, it's strategy. Oh, get over yourself. It's cheating. Come on. Work with me here. But I always play fair. Then why did you sign up for a show like this, get eliminated, come back, and try again? You have to play dirty to win a game like this. I will not be playing dirty. Hmm. Due to my years of being on a football team, I know that cheating is the first thing that'll tear a team apart. Well, 
Maybe aside from the time my teammates Craig and Patrick were caught sniffing people's gym bags and there was a locker room fight, but cheating is not fair. We should give them the sugar bag. And what, hand them the win too? Just be useful and grab us some powdered sugar and maple syrup. But I really think that we should- No! Uh, I feel very guilty about this. Hey there, Alliance partner. Oh, hey, Baxter, what's up? Say, how about you do anything you can to stop your team from winning? Why would I do that? Don't you want to get revenge on Atlas for stealing our immunity and getting Rory eliminated? I mean, if she loses, we can vote her off. Hmm, I guess we could. Trying to make my team lose also doesn't sound like a good way to play. But my team is filled with cheaters, so I will not be helping them bake squats. You can count on me. Good, I knew I could. <sighs> Okay, Tori and I just put the bread in the pan, and now the grilled cheese is grilling. Okay, so it'll probably be done within the next few minutes. In the meantime, I'll start prepping the table. Seems easy enough. We got this, guys! So far, our team has actually been doing pretty well. Maybe this time I'll actually be able to pull out a win. It seems like the teams are getting down to the nitty-gritty as they cook their somewhat edible meals. Dude, we need more sugar! I'm trying! I can't even look. A lot of help you are. We got this. Oh, yeah! Why isn't this amazing? It's not my fault. Sissy Cat winner for dish is coated in pepper. Your time ends in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hands off your dishes, everyone. We're gonna judge your group's food visually and then eat it and hope that we aren't poisoned. We'll start off with Cobalt's group. Ugh. This is a delectable waffle made from the finest batter topped with blueberries, strawberries, and maple syrup, and it uses powdered sugar finely imported from the Caribbean. The Caribbean, huh? I don't know. It sounded cool, so I lied about it. That's not the only thing she lied about. <laughs> what? Anyways, here's your waffle. Yummy, yummy. Here goes nothing. Not bad. I haven't eaten sugar in 20 years. It'll make you feel young again. It's very sweet. You guys must have used a lot of sugar. Sure we did. Uh, that's the spirit. Next up are muddles and noodles with their batch of cookies. It's my mother's recipe. The secret ingredient is a touch of love. We went through hell and back to make these. Uh, don't be so dramatic. What? It's true. Well, it's time to see what they're all about. These taste like... Nothing. Your mother must not have been very loving, Muddles. W my mother loves me, totally! I almost got disowned by them, for unrelated reasons. The texture is good, but the taste is gone. Did you guys even use any sugar? We did! I told you that stealing their sugar would work. This isn't right, you know. Moving on, we have Lola, Sissy, and Baxter with their... Quesadilla? Yeah, that's right. It tastes like butterflies and rainbows. Sure, listen to the crazy chick. <laughs> Time to see if Sissy can live up to her claims. <coughs> Hold up, what? This is horrible. Who told you that you were a good cook? <gasps> so you were lying this whole time? Wow, how dignified of her. What? I wasn't, but no. The, the, they hated it? But how? I put my heart and soul into that meal! Seems like Sissy's all talking, no action. That was a preposterous meal. And last but not least, we have Tasha, Tari, and Austin with their grilled cheese. It's the grilliest cheese that ever cheesed. Yeah, what she said. What did she say? As if I know. This, this grilled cheese. Why, it's so unreasonably, unabashedly, unbearably amazing! This is the best grilled cheese I've ever had! I used to know a love like this grilled cheese. That was back in 1982! How could one concoct a recipe so otherworldly? I, uh, we put a lot of dedication into it. I'm a little concerned, but hey, they like it. Now, it's time for the scores. In fourth place, scoring a 2 out of 10, it's Sissy's team! Are you serious? Thanks for helping us win, Chef Sucky. But we tried so hard. In third place, scoring a 5 out of 10. Muddles and noodles. Oh, my mother's going to be even more ashamed of me. Even more? In second place, scoring a 9 out of 10 is... Cobalt's team. What? <gasps> yes, 
That means we won. Our waffle was good. Get so, so evil. One more word out of you and you are eliminated. I, ugh. Sorry that I'm standing up for myself. That means that Tari, Tasha, and Austin win immunity. <gasps> we did it, guys. Oh, yeah, let's go. No risk of elimination for us. Once again, congrats to Tasha for winning the challenge. You get him, girl. I am so happy. Speckles would be so happy. Not to cut your celebration short or anything, we need to figure out who we're going to vote tonight. You know, I was thinking that maybe we should vote for Baxter tonight. He's made it too far with his attitude. Girl, he's so silly, girl. Um, good idea, but no. But why not? Can't we just- Atlas and I decided that Hugo needs to go. But he just came back. So did Atlas. Besides, Hugo was a huge hindrance in the challenge. His incompetence cost us a lot of valuable time. Okay, I get that, but I really think that we should vote- The decision is final. We're voting for Hugo. Did she just interrupt me like that? I was just suggesting an idea. Welcome back to the elimination ceremony, everyone. 11 of you here remain, but only 10 can go back to camp after tonight. <laughs> or they just get it over with. Whatever you say, nut job. Owen, please do the honors. It's my pleasure. Atlas, you ruffled a lot of feathers when you revoked immunity from the boys last episode, and that move might have just sealed your fate. What? Was I supposed to just allow everyone else to vote me off? Sissy, you told everyone that you were going to kill it in the cooking challenge, but I think the cooking challenge killed your reputation. That is not what my culinary teachers would be saying. Y'all got cooking in the ghetto? Uh, what? Controversiality is my specialty. Don't be offended, girl. Muddles and noodles, your cookies left my mouth drier than the Mojave. We still tried our best. You and I, all the way. And Lola, you tried to microwave hot dog buns for 20 minutes? Girl, are you off your rocker? What? Pretty lights started flashing in the microwave, and I could not help but be reminded of how psychiatrists used to shine lights in my eyes when I wouldn't eat my dinner. <laughs> Why? You guys are so, like, so judgmental for no reason. Okay, then. Campers, cast your votes. My vote goes to Cobalt. I do not condone cheating. I have no choice but to vote with this stupid alliance, otherwise I'll be eliminated. Oh, sissy, girl, you just got no lad. You're not the one I want to vote, but I can't betray my friends. You're not really a team player, and it shows. The votes have been cast. If you do not receive a stone of safety, then you are eliminated. Nobody would want to eliminate me, would they? Tasha, Tari, and Austin, since you guys all won the challenge today, you all received the first stones of the night. <laughs> Yay! Woo, here's to hoping this isn't my last. I'm thinking the Lord right now. The next stone goes to... Noodles. Oh, sweet. Muddles, you're safe as well. Oh, phew. And the last person to receive zero votes tonight is... Sissy. Oh yes, oh yeah. Atlas, Cobalt, Baxter, Hugo, and Lola, you all received votes tonight. Wow, that's a lot of people. With one vote, the next person safe is... Cobalt. Ah, whew. Also safe with one vote is... Lola. <laughs> a single vote? Girl, you're so crazy, girl. With two votes, the next person safe is... Baxter. Only two votes? <laughs> wow, that's a letdown. Atlas and Hugo, both of you received the most amount of votes tonight. Atlas, you burned a few too many bridges last episode, and Hugo, I don't know what you did. I swear, if I am eliminated, I will not be leaving this camp without a fight! One of you received four votes tonight, and the other received three. And on that note, the final camper safe tonight is... What? Oh, thank God. Oh, can't forget this. <laughs> Thanks. 
Hugo, it's time for you to go again. Well, at least I know what I'm dealing with when I'm on the football team. This, this is all too crazy for me. Then why even bother coming back? Gosh. The only TV network I should be on is the NFL. We're all in high school. Well, unless if you've been held back three times and are still in eighth grade, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. If it was for high school, then wouldn't it be called the HFL? Time for you to go again, Hugo. <laughs> I can see the white light right now. I don't care that I got the boots again. I would rather be on the bench, rightfully penalized, than up in the field with those cheaters, Atlas and Cobalt. I hope they know that the success never lasts forever. That idiot was supposed to be my alliance partner and he got himself eliminated. whoop do? And with that, we have 10 campers left in the game. Who will take it all and who will take the fall? Find out when we come back on Beanie Boo Survivor Reloaded.